Hey there guys, welcome to another week with Reviewing Network. Uh, this week is kind of a short week because I was doing the Blu-ray and DVD collection last week and I moved into all the way from last Monday to this, this past Sunday, so... You might not get a whole lot of footage here, but there is enough here to warrant a full episode. So, with that said, let's get on into it. I did not do that. That is how it is on TV. Oh, at last. Alright, so today some packages from eBay that I bought off of there came, to, came today. Start off with Deadpool, the Film Arena Steelbook from the UK. One of 300, 372 of 1,000. I'm going to open these up at the end of this, so... There's that one. You got the card there. And, of course, you have Deadpool 1. You got to have Deadpool 2. But this one's from Mantelab, who also did the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 steelbook I got last week. It's a nice steelbook. I wish they had the... I wish they had the, um... No, I can't think of it. No, I wish they had the Norman Rockefeller one, the, the, par the parody picture they did. Actually, Mantelab also did that great Logan Steelbook I have as well. But still, this is a really nice looking Steelbook. Like I said, and like I said, I'm going to open these up at the end. But this to me is my favorite one, the Ted Steelbook. This is from Phil and Arena. This is not a fucking kids movie. And what's interesting about this one is that it's one. It's 326 of only 400. They only made 400 of these ones. I also have the Ted 2 Steelbook coming soon from the same company, so whenever that comes, I'll definitely show you that. But let's go ahead and open these up, and I'll show you the inside. So first up, we have the Deadpool 1, and this is the paper sleeve that was on the back with the card inside. I like these cards that they put on the back of here. They look like a credit card. 372 of 1,000. Very nice. And let's go ahead and look at the Steelbook itself. I believe this one's the be this one's exact an exact copy of the Best Buy Steelbook that I also have. And of course that's wrapped up too. Give me a sec. There we go. And just like the Guardians of the Galaxy Steelbook, it comes with a lenticular magnet. So you can put this on the back of the Steelbook if you want to. This one does look very similar to the Best Buy Steelbook that I have, but this one I think is one of the original versions because I know they the one I have is a reprint. Let me open this up. And then there's the Blu-ray. Looks like it's just a Blu-ray, but this is a region-free one, so it should work anywhere. It's a whole bunch of, like, cards, picture posters inside. Put a space for the card there. So there's the, that, and then here's some more stuff here. That's the paper sleeve again. And then this one should be just like the Guardians to, uh, the Galaxy still, where it's just a compilation of like behind the scenes photos, pictures, all that kind of stuff. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Now let's go to Deadpool 2. Here's that Mantelab exclusive Steelbook sticker I'm going to hold on to. Put it on Deadpool for right now. At least this one will slide out easier. And more plastic. I do like that cover, though. That's a, that's a nice parody of the Flash, of Flash Dance. So, let me go ahead and open this up real quick. Yeah, like I said, I really do love that cover. That's a very nice cover. Much, it's much better than the one I have for the Best Buy exclusive one that I have. And here we have the super duper longer cut. Longer is better, and then going strong since 06 and you got some more cars in here I like that's the X-Men lo uh, logo on the back got some more cards and stills from the movie very nice very nice indeed 
and then you get another booklet. I just put the sticker on this on this instead of the steel book. Some more pictures of various scenes from the film. Like I said, very nice steel book set. Now let's get on to the last one. Also, I don't know if this is supposed to be like a parody of the Rainbow Bright. Is it like Rainbow Bright or something? But I do love this image on the back as well. Well, I don't know. I think I don't know. I don't think this is supposed to be a parody of like the Rainbow Bright Star movie that they did, the Rainbow Bright Star Stealer or something like that. But it's a nice image on the back, and I love that image on the front as well. I wish they had the Norman Rockefeller one, but I think that's part. Of, but like I said, it's part of the bigger box set where they had multiple seal book sets. But it was like uber expensive. I didn't want to pay too much for that. But uh, let's get on to this last one here, Ted. Once again, you've got the Ted card here. 326 of 400. And there's Ted showing me his ass. <laughs> See, the one, one thing I didn't mention about these cards is that they're hard to put back and put inside of the slips here. I know, I, could, I know for this one in particular, I could just leave that there, but I don't know. I'm the type of guy that likes to keep these paper, the paper sleeves in the back, so... Unfortunately, the, luckily with this one, I can just cut the sides off and it'll easily fit in there. It's just like what I do with Deadpool. Now let's see how hard this is going to be to get out. Probably not at all because it's already halfway out. Yep. There we go. There's the back. And then here's the front. Let's go ahead and open this up. Also something I didn't notice until right now. He's holding the Ted logo in the back back he's like hey, hey it's my movie Ted and then you turn around and it's like okay I gotta put this down I gotta take a pee <laughs> and that's funny because that tile looks like he's, he's literally coming out of his you know what but let's go ahead and look at the inside here getting way off topic here so there's the disc I don't think this is a region free DVD blu-ray unfortunately so I am gonna keep my original copy of Ted Ted and I have a I also have Ted 2 on Steelbook. Which I'm also getting, like I said, I'm also getting the film re the Steelbook version for that. I'm going to probably keep both of those. Got some cards, some pictures, a nice image of Ted, Mark Wahlberg, and Mila Kunis on the, in, the, in the inside. And then here's another booklet with, like, pictures from the movie. Come on. I don't. I look like smug, snug as a, I look like. I can't. I'm gonna fuck up the line. I look like Snuggles. Snuggles accountant. I look like someone you give your kid when you tell, tell him Grandma died. Yeah, I completely butchered that. I'm so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Seth MacFarlane. Please forgive me. Joe McHale in there. I forgot he was in that movie. Honestly. Flash Gordon. But yeah, this is nice. This is real. This is a really nice looking set. So there you go. That is the Ted Steel book, and that's all three of them right there. So luckily, so I was really happy to find these on eBay for a pretty good price, and should be the first of several other things coming up in the next week. So in this this coming week, I should say. So be on the lookout for that. You know what? For butchering your lines, I'm going to let you finish off this segment. Ted, what do you got to say? I don't. I look like. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> it's not gonna be hot if it's frozen. <laughs> so they got this in, in the last couple of weeks, all the way toilet paper. But here's the interesting thing: made in Vietnam. Made in Vietnam, but it says imported and distributed by Co International Links, Costa Mesa, California. That's different because this one, because I think. Uh, maybe I read it wrong. I thought these were from Florida, but still. It's weird that we have Vietnamese, to Vietnamese toilet paper here. Uh, a little peeves at my sheets stopped selling my Venom Energy drinks. Used to pick these up all the time here. Eh, uh, what are you gonna do? Make a little bit of food.
Alrighty, so it's Wednesday and I've got two more packages here to show you. I know what this one is right here, but I can't remember which one this is. This is, for, this is from eBay, so let's go ahead and see what this is. There's a lot of tape on this one. But as you can see, it is one of those steel, steel books that I bought because it comes all, all the way from Great Britain. And most of these steel books that I'm getting from eBay are from interna international places. International places. You can tell them. You can tell that my English isn't good right now. But I did get the box open, so let's go ahead and open this up. We're gonna see what it is here. Okay, I know what it is. I was wondering if this was coming in. This was coming sooner. But this is an every. This is another box set from Everything Blue, who made those shot. Who made the Hot Fuzz and the Wolves End seal books that I have. They had another one. It's not the one that you're thinking of, but no, I still haven't gotten I still haven't gotten shot of the dead. I don't know if when it's when it's actually going to be available for, for me to get somewhere, but it's not that one. But it's another Edgar Wright movie, one of my favorite Edgar Wright movies. Stay there, <laughs> Scott Pilgrim vs. the World from Everything Blue. One of my favorite movies from the past decade. Just a terrific, terrific film. Let's go ahead and show you the inside of this. 35 out of 1,000 of these. So, not one of the earlier one of the earlier copies they made. So, that's something. It's hard to do with the fan blowing on. There we go. Fix the problem. I'll sw I'll sweat it out for you to show you the inside of this. But yeah, this is a ve very nice, em very nice embossing. This is like a paper this is like a paper sleeve on here, and luckily I don't think I have to take this back off of here. Cause I'm sure there's something behind here. I don't know if I want to take the I don't know if I want to take it off or not. But go ahead and show you the inside. And now the steelbook I believe is available at FYE too. Like yeah, I think this is an FYE exclusive version, but you can see this is based up the design here is based off of the actual novel the uh the manga based off of the book. Is it a manga or a graphic novel? It's one of the two, but it's based on that design. There's the inside. There's the seven evil X's. Oh! Here's the guitar pick. I didn't even see that there. There's the disc itself. I believe this is a region free Blu ray, too, so. There's the seven evil X's. that back in there. There's the back. And it does look like this is super glued to the back of here, so I don't know if I I don't know if I could show you the inside of the ba the back of this, but you know what? I'll live. I'll live. It's very it's very nice. It's another great steel book from Everything Blue. They re is they really are do make some really good steel books. If you ever go on if you ever go on to their website, definitely check them out and Usually get their Blu-rays quickly because they usually sell out of them pretty fast. Like I know, recently they had stuff like Boys in the Hood, Spartacus, uh, Schindler's List, and I know Shaun of the Dead. They, those so, these things sell out quickly, and I believe this also sold out pretty quickly as well. So there you go. That is the Scott Pilgrim vs. the World Everything Blue Steelbook. Now on to this from Target, and I know what this is because this book came out yesterday. And this is not going to work. I just got to. I just got to realize that this, there's no way I'm going to be able to open this with one hand while holding this camera. So give me one sec. Little did I realize that there's actually a hole for me to put, bust this open. So like I said, this is a book, and this just came out last yesterday. A I was supposed to. I pre-ordered it for yesterday, but it just didn't come until today so there you go you can probably already tell what this is based on the back here but what I have here is the new James Conner book fear is a choice tackling life's challenge with dignity faith and determination James Conner's autobiography yeah I heard, yeah I'm really looking forward to reading this book 
I want to get the audiobook too. I think he also does the audiobook version of this, but yeah, is I would have gotten this at Barnes and Noble if they were open right now, but I don't think they are right now. But they could be opening up pretty soon. But I pre-ordered this from Target. Just a fantastic book. Just a fantastic story about this guy. You know who James Conner is. He was a running back for the University of Pittsburgh, but then he got drafted by the Steelers. He during his time at the University of Pittsburgh, he suffered. He had a Hodgkin's lymphoma. Just was it Hodgkin's lymphoma? Let me see. Yeah, Hodgkin's lymphoma. There was a chance that he wasn't going to even finish his finish his time in the in the college in college football. But then he 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 successfully beat cancer. Such a great story for him. Been a great player, but last couple of years he's been injured, unfortunately. But I wish I hope he does very well this season. I really. Is I really hope the Steelers actually give him another chance to see, give him a chance this season. Hopefully, he does make it to the whole season. I am really looking forward to reading this book a lot. And of course, knowing I was getting his book today, I wore my James Conner T-shirt. I also have his jersey over there. Um. So yeah, that's for everything that came today. The Fears of Choice James Conner book, and then the Scott Pilgrim vs. the World Everything Blue box set. So a couple more things that came in the mail this week that I ordered online. Uh, we'll see if some more stuff comes in, and I'll let you know what ha what I get. So basically, these are just these, except with red, white, and blue sh chips inside them. So because the Olympics got pushed back to next year, does that mean they're going to put these out again next year, or are they just going to keep them going throughout the whole year? Original crackers in a limited edition sleeve. Yeah, because that's what I want to keep. <laughs> and on that note, we're going to end the video here. That's another edition of A Week with Reviewing Network. A uh, short week, of course, because I was working on the DVD and Blu-ray collection last week, so... Not a whole... It doesn't seem like we got a whole lot of footage there, but we got enough. But, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, tomorrow, on this channel, I'm actually going to do a... A special kind of video. I'm going to do a commentary on the first episode of Movie Stock that I did. And I'm doing that because I'm going to announce when I'm going back to do more Movie Stock episodes. Because at the time of recording this, everything is starting to open back up a little bit. Um, some of the stuff that places I, some of the places I usually go to, like Best Buy, Half Price Books, those type of places, they're going to be opening back up pretty soon, if not already. But uh, yeah, you're going to find out when I'm going to head back out. So, That'll be tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, when I do commentary on the first episode of Movie Stuff. But for this, but until then, if you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button over here. And check out a previous episode here. And until the next time I see you, take care.